Hey, what's going on guys? So in the last video of this ep of this tutorial series, I set up a setup command and what this does is it creates a guild config document for us. And the point of this is to be able to save things like the guild prefix or a guild login channel. Now, I did mention in that video that I did want to start using a command handler because that's what most people end up uh, moving their bot towards because you can see our commands are starting to get uh, really messy. So what I'm going to do in this video is I'm going to go ahead and show you guys how to set up a command handler or not. I'm not going to show you guys how to set up the command handler. I'm going to show you guys how to set up Mongo, a mongoose with the command handler. Now we will be using a package called Slappy. This is something that I have built myself and uh, quite a lot of people have found use of this. So I hope you guys uh, check it out and use it yourself. But long story short, pretty much this is a command line interface tool that allows you to scaffold a Discord JS project very quickly. So basically, if you don't have Slappy installed, you can just go over to this GitHub page. Uh, let me zoom in a little bit. And they have instructions. They have a bunch of different things that you can read up on. And yeah, so you can install it with npm or yarn. Just type in npm i dash g to install it globally you need to install it globally otherwise it won't work okay or just do yarn global add slappy and that should uh, do the trick okay so to actually get a slappy project started we're gonna just simply let me go over to my documents folder and just type slappy and it'll ask you whether or not you want to create a new discord JS project or if you want to generate something like a command or events I'm just going to go ahead and hit new and I'll just type this mongodb uh, djs slappy and we will just stick to uh, javascript because we are using we are currently using javascript so let's just be consistent and we'll just stick with uh, I'll use yarn because it's a lot faster and for my bot token let me go ahead and grab that real quick you can copy and paste that in there and for the prefix we'll just use a question mark okay so this will take a little bit of time not too long all right so there we go so now we can simply uh, go ahead and cd into this mongodb slappy folder and if i open up my visual studio code you can see that we have our very own uh, project already for us and we have a bunch of files you don't have to worry about anything inside the utils folder um, you just have to worry about the commands folder and the index.js folder okay so uh, I'm not gonna really explain too much of what slappy is I've already done that before in a previous video I'll leave a link in the description and there's also a github link where you guys can actually read up on what this is and if you guys want you can join my discord server we have a dedicated channel where you can talk all about slappy and the development of it so definitely, I would highly recommend checking it out if you guys like uh, what you just saw, okay? Anyways, so for those who already know what Slappy is and for those who have used a command handler, this probably might not be new to you. You might have uh, recognized this, okay? So what we're going to do is we're going to focus on setting up a mongoose, okay? So the very first thing we're going to need to do is we're going to need to... Well, first, let me just make sure that I can run my bots. So I will simply do yarn dev. And you can see that the bot has logged in and we didn't change anything. All right, everything is already properly set up for us. Uh, let me go ahead and just close that out. And now what we're gonna do is we're gonna go and just type yarn dev. All right, so that works. And we wanna just type yarn add mongoose. Okay, this is the only dependency that we are missing. Uh, we aren't using .env, because uh, Slappy doesn't uh, use that. It uses actually a JSON file, I think. It should be somewhere. Yeah, it's inside the slappy.json file. And that's where your uh, your bot token and your prefix is stored. Um, in the past, I did actually use environment variables, but I just had to change that, but that's for another story. Anyways, so this is where your token is saved. Um, so that's how it logs the bot in, okay? Uh, well, that's where it gets the token to log the bot in. All right, so now what we want to do is after we have installed Mongoose, 
uh, how do we actually set it up so that we can log into the database? Okay, well, there are many ways. Uh, you can be creative, but you can simply do something like this. Const mongoose equal require mongoose. And you just do mongoose dot connect. And you can pass in the URI like so. And the name of our database, let me go ahead and grab it from just going to copy and paste this from the previous project and uh, whoops. So we want to call dot connect and then we're going to go ahead and call dot then and dot catch. So this is just the same code that we had from the previous project. And I'm just going to pass in the options so we don't have those deprecation warnings. Okay, so this will connect to the database for us, which is fine. And from here, we actually don't even need to do anything special. Um, we will actually need to do a couple of things when we have to worry about things such as prefixes for each guild. If you want your bot to work for multiple guilds, that is. So we will have to worry about that. And I'll show you guys how to set that up. And we might need to also worry about other guild settings too, because you have to think of it like this. We're working on a bot, and this bot will actually be able to handle multiple guilds at the same time. So if you have multiple guilds with this bot, it's going to be, it's going to have different each. It's going to have many different documents for the guild settings. So how do you actually make sure you get those guild settings? Well, you want to make sure you fetch them. Either you fetch them while the command is about to execute, or you can fetch them in the beginning and then load them all up. And I'll, like I said, I'll, I'll explain a little bit more in future videos. Okay, so for now, our uh, our connection to the database should work just fine. Let's just test it out. And you can see that we are connected to the database. Okay, now let's go ahead and just simply implement those commands that we had. I'm only going to, uh, I'm only going to uh, work on the setup command. I'm not going to work on the other two commands or two or three commands that we had done. These get notes and, or yeah, the get notes and create notes. I'm not going to worry about those commands. I'm just going to focus on the setup command. So uh, to create a command with Slappy, there's multiple ways. You can do it manually or you can just do it using the Slappy tool. So if you type Slappy and if you type generate, and it'll ask you, do you want to generate a command or an event? So we're going to stick to command. And then you want to type the name of the command. So I'm just going to type setup. And for the category, I'll just say, uh, let's just call it admin. You're going to notice that uh, there's a new folder. So this is the category. And setup command.js is the name of our file. And you can see that we have basically a class called setup command and extends a base command class. You don't have to worry about that. And basically the first three arguments or these three arguments setup is the name of the uh, command. Admin is the actual category. And then the array over here are all of the aliases. So you can actually add aliases like S or uh, set, etc. You can do that. Okay. Now without changing anything, we can go ahead and run this again and you'll notice that it should just work immediately so let me go ahead and do this let's so set up and you can see that setup command works and all we have to do is just change a couple of things so before we mess around too much with this run function we do need to obviously get our guild config schema so i'm just going to copy and paste that and i'll create a new folder, I'll call this, uh, let's just call this uh, schemas. And we'll do guild config schema .js. Paste that over here. So we have to rewrite everything. And now what we can do is we can just simply import that schema. So guild config, or I should say model, because really it's a model that we're importing because we compiled the schema down into a model. So I should really be seeing that. So let's go into the schemas folder. Okay. And now from here, we can simply just have the same code that we had previously. 
Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm just going to copy and paste everything over here. And I can get rid of this message touch on send. And I don't worry, I will leave uh, I will leave the code in the description. I know the first three episodes I didn't leave, or the first three or four, I didn't leave a link to the description. I didn't leave a link in the description to the code. Uh, that's because I wanted to get to the command handler first so that way you guys can have this instead of like, you know, just what we had previously. Okay? So because I think this is a lot better. Anyway, so all we did was we just copy and pasted all the code that we wrote um, in episode four. So you're going to notice that this should just work just fine, or at least it should. So let's try this out. So set up. See, we got a error. It says, okay, so we're getting an error. Uh, oh, we need to add async to the front of this. Okay, there we go. Because we're using await. So let's try this again. So it says you already have a configuration set up. And that's fine because in the previous video, we actually did... Um, we actually did create a configuration and our configuration actually still is in the database. So we know for a fact that this is actually working uh, just fine. Like I said, I didn't really change anything. All I literally did was just copy and pasted everything. Uh, and Slappy takes care of handling uh, the command and the and parsing the arguments for us. So we don't have to worry about literally anything. There are no arguments, so I just wanted to mention that. So yeah, that's pretty much it for this video. Uh, the whole point of this video was to just show you guys how to set up Mongoose with your uh, with your command handler. It's really easy, but like I said, there are many ways that you can do this. Um, so I think in the next video, we're going to implement the set prefix command. And then from there, uh, I'm also going to show you guys how to uh, pretty much fetch all of the guild prefixes. So that way you can have them. Uh, loaded up when the bot starts and how you can actually make it so that you can use the command you can you can use a certain prefix for a specific guild so i hope you guys enjoyed this video and hopefully it wasn't too complicated like so if you have any questions feel free to join my discord server i'll leave a link in the description and that's going to be pretty much it so i will see you guys in the next video peace out